All right, welcome back. Did you get any plants at Flower Day over the weekend? Have you already been planning out what vegetables you're going to grow this summer? Well, if not, you may want to consider giving gardening a try. Experts say it can build far more than a beautiful yard. How does your garden grow? With lots of hauling, digging, planting, watering, and of course, weeding. Well, it turns out all that effort is also building stronger bones. When you're out in the garden, the fact that you're walking, that you're using instruments, that you're using your body and your muscles in a certain way, it's called weight-bearing exercise. So that's the best kind of exercise for you um, if you want to try to prevent a bone softening or osteoporosis. A study by the University of Arkansas compared the benefits of various types of exercise for women age 50 and up. They found two were clear winners for maintaining healthy bones, weight training and yard work. As an added benefit, exposure to sunlight also boosts vitamin D production, which helps the body absorb calcium. Dr. Deborah Benzel at the Cleveland Clinic says if you haven't been very active, start low and go slow. I also strongly recommend you do a light stretch and maybe warm your body up a little bit before you get out into the garden. And most important is after you've done the gardening is take the time to do a good deep 10 or 15 minute stretch, particularly for your back, your upper back and your lower back, because both of these areas get a lot of stress during gardening. And Dr. Penzel says research also has shown that gardening on a regular basis can reduce the risk of dementia mm. and boost your immu immune system nice. as well. Nice.